How's it going guys? Giving the 60 frames per second a shot really quick. I personally never really like the way that it looks, but I've noticed a lot of YouTubers are making the switch, so maybe you guys do prefer it. If you do, let me know in the comment section. But anyways, today we're going to be making a baby little tomahawk version of the Sawblade Battle Axe that I made for Halloween last year. Last time I did a Sawblade Tomahawk was uh, my first build video actually, which was not particularly good. So we're going to be doing it upright this time. So here's what you're going to need. I've got some quarter inch steel rivets of varying lengths between quarter inch and half inch. And then I've also got some 20D and 10D nails in case these aren't long enough and we have to make our own rivets. Then I've got the bottom leftover chunk of this machete right here. I actually cut this down to make this machete battle axe here. Now I don't actually have a build video for the battle axe, but I do have a build video for the tomahawk version of it. And if you learn how to make the tomahawk, then you'll know how to make the battle axe. I've got some eighth inch thick by inch and a quarter angle iron. This is a leftover from the Night Terror, my most recent Halloween build. And then I've got some eighth inch thick by inch and a quarter flat bar. This is also a leftover from the Night Terror. Second to last, I've got this 18 inch hickory claw hammer replacement handle from Menards. And then finally the main entree, a seven and a quarter inch framing saw blade. All right, step number one, you can see this line that they cut out for the wedge is pretty slanted. We're going to need to straighten it out so that the saw blade is able to fit in here straight. I'm going to mark the cut with a sharpie and then cut it out with my baby little scroll saw. Now I put the machete here and the handle right here to figure out this shape that I'm gonna have to cut out with an angle grinder and probably a Dremel tool too. All right, guys, believe me, I don't want to do this. Like, I really don't want to do this. But as much as I hate the fact that I'm probably going to completely ruin this whole entire thing and this is going to look like a piece of crap, I try to make it a point in my life to never grow content with being mediocre in anything that I do. So as much as I hate the fact that this is going to be absolute garbage, I know that I'm never going to get better at welding unless I try to weld over and over and over. So please forgive whatever the heck is about to happen. It's not going to be pretty. The only thing I can promise is that it's gonna be a step. Well, I didn't do it. I got right next to where I was supposed to be going, but I did do something that kinda looks like a weld. So far, not the worst thing I've ever done, so I'm gonna try to go again. Alright, this looks more like a weld than anything I've done up until this point. See if I can do the other side. I don't even know if you're supposed to do that, but I'm gonna do it. Nah, that one was garbage. This welder has consistently been the one thing that I have not been able to get a hang of. Every single other tool that I've picked up within an hour, I'm pretty good at using it. I don't know, this is pretty discouraging. All right, I'd rather not ruin this entire project, so I'm putting the welder away for the day, at least until I can find some time to practice on some scrap metal or something like that, just so I can be a good welder for you guys. But until then, I'm just gonna stick with the old trusty method of riveting a steel strap across this thing. Uh, but first, I gotta clean this crap off. I 
Cut a couple straps out of that eighth inch flat bar. You can't see the other one because it's on the other side, obviously. But now I'm gonna drill through these dots and pop some rivets in there. Now I went ahead and broke the bank on some cobalt drill bits because I absolutely hate drilling through hardened steel with anything except them. I'm just gonna put a little cutting fluid on the bit. Now I'm switching over to the drill press for the machete part just because it's so much harder than the saw blade part, but it is still possible with the hand drill, so don't worry about it if you don't have a drill press. Either way, as long as you're using the cobalt drill bit, it should be fine. And also guys, I cannot urge you enough, please get into the habit of clamping stuff down when you're drilling through it or drilling through it on a drill press. You will pretty soon be getting a very in-depth video about why that is extremely important, but let's get this done. <laughs> Now that this thing is sturdy as heck, I'm going to stick it into the handle and I'm going to mark out a couple places where I have to cut a couple little slots in the handle right here so that this part of the handle can rest all the way up against this part of the saw blade just so it looks as good as possible. cut in between these lines. And then just like I did in the Night Terror build, I'm gonna have to bend both of these brackets into this shape. Now this is super simple, I just clamp the bracket and the vise with the rest of the angle iron. This just supports the back of it to make sure that when you're trying to bend it, it doesn't bend right here. And with it all clamped up, then I use a pair of vise grips and I just slowly bend it backwards, trying to get as close to the bottom right here as I can so that I get a really sharp bend right here. Then eventually you get to this position where you can't really bend it anymore because the edge of the vice grip is bumping up against the angle iron. So from here, I just use a hammer to go the rest of the way. Now we got our two brackets, so we're going to take one, put it right here, take the other one, put it underneath on the other side, and then drill through here and pop some rivets. Now I'm gonna squish this a little bit to make sure these brackets are about as flat up against the handle as we're gonna get. All right, it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was before. And then finally, a strap from here that reaches all the way around the back. We're gonna be making this out of the flat bar. Now I've got this five inch strap. I'm gonna make a mark at one inch, four inches, and two and a half inches. I'm gonna mark them all the way across. 
Now I used a few hex bolts in the vise to start a round bend in the center of this piece of flat bar. See, we've got a nice round bend right here as opposed to if you were to stick it in the vise and just try to bend it that way, it would be a lot sharper. Now I'm gonna bend these ends a little farther upwards so I can use the hex nuts a little further on here. But after I've got a pretty good bend on it, I'm gonna be using the handle for most of the forming. So now we've got what will be our second connection point, and before I rivet all this stuff together, I'm gonna take it all apart and paint it up. I'm gonna use some masking tape here, tape up the edges. Now I'm gonna stick this whole thing back together and I'm gonna drill these holes here to pop some rivets. Now for the final part of the construction, I'm gonna drill through here with a 7 30 seconds drill bit. I'm going to insert a 20D nail into the hole and then trim it off so there's about two millimeters sticking out of the other side. Then lastly, I'm gonna use the anvil on my vise and a ball peen hammer to peen the rivet. Now the final paint job. Now while that's drying, I wanted to take a second to thank you guys in a very special way for helping me out so much going above and beyond and helping me uh, support my channel by buying a hoodie or a t-shirt on Teespring. So I've never done anything like this next part. I wanted to thank you guys in a very new special way. So about three weeks after the sale is over, uh, when I'm pretty sure everybody has gotten their hoodies and will have a chance to do this thing that I'm about to tell you about, you can put on your hoodie or your t-shirt. I'm not gonna discriminate between pre premium or budget versions, just put on whatever it is that you got. Write on a piece of paper, I'm 18 years old or have parental permission and would like to be in the contest. Hold that next to yourself, take a picture of yourself and then tag me in it on Instagram and I'm gonna put you in the drawing to win this tomahawk. I've never done a giveaway before. I really hope this works out. I'm really excited about this. So yeah, thank you guys so, so, so much for helping me recover the earnings that uh, I, for whatever reason, didn't get from YouTube this month. I'm really looking forward to seeing who gets this tomahawk. Hawk, though. If you didn't know about the t-shirt sale, you can go to teespring.com forward slash alpha dash two. They're really cool hoodies and t-shirts, but also if you would like to buy them just to be entered into the drawing for this thing and to support my channel, nothing wrong with that. So yeah, enough talk. I think this thing's about dry. <laughs> and there we go. I never thought I would be able to use the word cute to describe a saw blade axe, probably just because I've seen the big version of it. It just looks like a little baby to me, but I don't know. He looks just like his dad, but unfortunately, He's already up for adoption this early in life. I don't know if that's just the way it goes So if you would like to give a home to this beautiful child, please visit teespring.com forward slash alpha dash two Grab yourself a hoodie or a t-shirt do all that stuff that I talked about and this beautiful baby could be yours But anyways, that's all I got for today guys. Thank you all very much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye